Thank you, Presiding Officer. In the 75 years of the NHS, we have never stood still and we have adapted our service to meet the needs of the population. I have had the pleasure to meet with a number of parents, families and maternity staff who all have the same aspirations. They all want the best for the babies in their care and we must act accordingly to support that. The Best Start outlined that Scotland should move from the current model of eight neonatal in intensive care units to a model of three units supported by the continuation of current NICUs redesignated as local neonatal units. The evidence is clear that the chances of survival are better for these highest risk babies when they are cared for in units by clinicians who see more of these babies and with access to specialist support services. Those born at highest risk is defined as babies who are born at less than 27 weeks gestation, weigh less than 100 grams, or who need multiple complex intensive care interventions or surgery. The process of determining which units should be providing neonatal intensive care followed an options appraisal process. I've got a lot to get through, if you don't mind. Um, the process of determining which units should be providing neonatal intensive care followed an options appraisal process which was undertaken by an expert group including clinical leads and service user representatives, including in NHS Lanarkshire, the Best Start perinatal subgroup. As has been raised today by Jackie Bailey, I welcome the opportunity to congratulate Wishaw General's neonatal... I'm not going to take any interventions to congratulate Wishaw General's neonatal multidisciplinary team in being named the UK Neonatal Team of the Year in 2023. The work that this unit provides is remarkable and hearing the words of parents who have written to me confirms the care they are providing is inspirational. The Best Start recommended that the new model of neonatal care should be based on the British Association of Perinatal Medicine definitions of level of care. This moves us away from the previous descriptions of units as level one, two and three and describes units as neonatal intensive care units, local neonatal units and special care baby units. I would like to reassure everyone that under the new model, the scope of practice that the local neonatal unit will be able to undertake is wider than the previous level two definition. The units will continue to provide a level of intensive care and will be able to care for babies born at greater than 27 weeks gestation. The intention with the new model of care is that mothers in suspected extreme preterm labour are transferred before they give birth to maternity units in the hospitals that have neonatal intensive care units, allowing them to be cared for alongside their baby. It is recognised that it will not always be possible, and in those cases our specialist neonatal transfer service, ScotStar, will transfer those babies in specialist ambulances equipped to care for neonates. This has been established practice for many years. Babies receiving intensive care will then be transferred back to their local neonatal unit for ongoing care as soon as possible. The parents and carers of these babies must be supported to help them in providing care alongside the neonatal staff. The new model of care positions parents firmly as partners in their baby's care. It includes expansion of transitional care, improved facilities and support for parents, and expanded neonatal community care, allowing babies to get home sooner. In addition, we have already introduced the Young Patients Family Fund, formerly the Neonatal Expenses Fund, which continues to help support many parents with costs of having babies in neonatal care. We will now work with all health boards affected to plan for and implement this service change over the course of the next year. However, it is also important that we hear the voices of those families in the affected areas. Therefore, we will also be consulting with families so that we can take account of their concerns when the pathways and processes for the new model of care are designed. And we've been setting up focus groups. We'll be setting up focus groups to support that. In, I'm just coming to the close. In closing, presiding officer, I would like to give my own personal commitment and that of this government to continue to listen, learn and act upon evidence to make sure that our NHS delivers safe, effective and person-centred care. I'd like to reiterate that this decision has been made on the basis of evidence that this change will improve chances of survival for these very smallest and sickest babies. I'm sure members will agree that parents would very much expect us to act on such evidence in the best interests of their babies. Thank you. Could you move the amendment oh, in there? I, I move the amendment in my name.